hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have discussed about signal addition operation performed on continuous time signals okay so in this video we are going to perform the same signal addition but on discrete time signals so it is very simple okay we'll just discuss some examples so let us take a discrete time signal x1 n so 1 2 say 3 so at 1 let's say it is 2 2 it is 1 1 it is let's say sorry three and another discrete time signal x two one same zero one two three so here let's say it is one here it is two here it is so the signal addition operation x1 n plus x2 n simply means at each of these discrete time instants we just have to add the signals so at n equals to 1 it will be 2 plus 1 here it is 2 here it is 1 so 2 plus 1 equals to 3 at n equals to 2 x1 n is 1 and here it is 2 this is also 3 and at n equals to 3 this is 3 and this is also 3 x to n is also 3 so it is 6 so the resultant signal it will look something like this so here it is again n this is x1 n plus x to n so at 1 it is 3 at 2 also it is 3 and at 3 it is 6 3 plus 3 it is equal to 6 6 okay so this is the uh, uh, signal addition performed on discrete time signals. So here we have another two signals, discrete time signals x1n and x2n having the respective amplitudes for x1n at 0 it is 0, at 1 it is 2, at 2 it is 2 and at 3 it is minus 1. Similarly, for x2 n at 1 at n equals to 1 it is minus 1 at n equals to it is 1 and at n equals to 3 it is 2 so simply we have to perform the addition of these two signals at the respective points so at n equals to 0 it is 0 plus 0 at n equals to 1 it is 2 plus minus 1 which is equal to 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 similarly at n equals to 2 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 and at n equals to 3 it is minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 1 okay so these are the values now we have to just draw the signal This x1 n plus x2 n 0 1 2 3 so at uh, 0 to 0 at 1 it is 1 at 2 it is 
3 and at n equals to 3 again it is 1 okay so this is the uh, resultant signal okay so simple thing same as in continuous time but here at each discrete time instant we just have to add the respective amplitude of the signals and we'll get the resultant signal okay so here we have discussed uh, the signal addition operation previously we discussed on continuous time signal here we discussed it on discrete time signal okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much